What's up guys, it's Casual Savage here and today I've got a video for you. Um, now, if you've been having problems downgrading or updating to iOS 7 or from iOS 7, you may get this error which it says activation error. It says the device is not registered as part of the iPhone developer program. If you are a member of the program, please register your device in the iPhone developer program. Oops. Portal at that website. Okay, so before I start, you will need to be downloading your IPSW for iPhone 5 users. You will need to download iOS 6.1.4. Um, and if that's for any other device that iOS 6.1.4 works on, you'll need to download that as well. Everyone else, you'll need to download your IPSW for iOS 6.1.3. I'll provide a link in the description which will take you to a website where you can download your IPSW. Once you have that, you are ready to begin. Now, this is very easy to fix. So, without your device plugged in, so you want to have iTunes opened. Um, okay. So without your device plugged in, what you need to do, take your device, completely power it off to start off with. So we're just going to power this off. You can see it is on iOS 7 because of the new layout like that. And the little spinny thing there. Where's it gone? Can't even see it on the camera. There it is. Just faintly. It's still going on. Let's see if we can get this there we go okay so now it is off okay so let me just uh, sort the camera out so with the device not plugged in just get this sorted here okay so what you want to do you want to hold the home button and plug your device in at the same time so I'm just gonna get it in ready Okay, I'm gonna hold the home button, holding it, plug it in, plug the device. Now wait for the device to open up to the uh there we go, now you can let go. So now it's saying uh it is in recovery mode and it needs to be uh, what's it called? Restored. So this is good. Now on to the computer, you can see you must restore this iPod Touch before you can use it with iTunes. So now here, Mac, you click Alt or Option. Windows, you click Shift, well, hold Shift and click Restore. And if it opens up, there we go. Now what this allows you to do is see your IPSW that you should have downloaded. Um, so you just want to look where you have saved it. Mine is right there. So your latest IPSW. Click restore. And now it's just going to do the basic stuff. And I'm just going to fast forward it from now. And there you go guys, you are back on iOS 6. Bang! iOS 6 and uh, you can freely use your device. Now, by all means, you can go back to iOS 7 if you want to. Uh, I got myself in that locked position because I had enough with iOS 7 Beta 2. It's supposed to be fixing more bugs, but... I felt there was more bugs and I just had enough and tried to get back to iOS 7, no, iOS 6.1.3, but it didn't work. But now you can see I am back on it. So it's been Casual Savage here, and I hope this video has helped you. And I hope you like this video. Please subscribe, rate, and peace. Anyway, let's get on to number one. So the difference here is 
in a folder there's usually limited amounts you could have in there but now if we open this folder up it has every 